Chandrayaan-3 has taken impressive visuals of the moon as it begins its final countdown to a successful moon landing. These visuals are just after the separation of the lander module from the propulsion module. ISRO also unveiled videos recorded by Chandrayaan-3 Vikram lander. It provides a clear view of moon craters. Another video offers a glimpse of Earth. Now only a few days are left before the lander module will make an attempt to do a soft landing near the moon's south pole. It is expected on August 23rd. The Indian lunar spacecraft has earlier captured its first ever images of the moon as it entered the lunar orbit. If Chandrayaan-3 successfully lands on the moon, India will become the fourth country in the world to achieve this feat. This achievement would be significant for India. So far only the United States, the former Soviet Union and China have managed this feat. Notably, no spacecraft has ever touched down on the moon's south pole. This is a place believed to have water ice that could potentially support life. However, Russia might achieve this as well. Their Luna 25 probe is set to land near the South Pole. Now, as per reports, the Russian spacecraft is likely to land on the Moon on August 21, two days before Chandrayaan-3. The world witnessed the historic liftoff to Chandrayaan-3 on July 14. ISRO launched India's third lunar exploration mission from the Satish Dhawan Space Center. The goal is to make India's first ever successful landing on the Moon. The combination of a lander and a rover has been following its schedule as planned. It successfully entered the Moon's orbit on August 5th and recently detached from its propulsion module on August 17th. The lander module comprising the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover underwent a deboosting to place it on an orbit. Deboosting is part of Chandrayaan-3's final preparations before it lands on the Moon's surface. Deboost is the process of slowing down. It involves reducing the spacecraft's thrust in order to achieve a stable orbit. Chandrayaan-3 is going very well. Yesterday night we had a orbit reduction in the moon's orbit from uh, something like 18,000 kilometers to around 4,600 kilometers and 165 or so, it's the lowest closest point. So subsequently it will again come down. Uh, 9th also there will be some maneuvers again on 17th. So it, until it uh, lands on 23rd, there will be a series of maneuvers. So everything is going fine now, the satellite is healthy. Chandrayaan-3 is a follow-up mission to Chandrayaan-2, which crash-landed in September 2019. Now once the landing on the moon's surface is successful this time, scientific research will be conducted as part of the mission. Chandrayaan-3 propulsion module will play a crucial role. Its aim is to explore habitable planets like Earth. It aims to be a part of renowned space agencies like NASA and ESA. Chandrayaan-3 lander module named ILSA carries special equipment. ILSA's main task is to detect and study moon quakes, which are vibrations or tremors beneath the moon's surface. Additionally, Chandrayaan-3 will establish the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory on the moon's surface. Chandrayaan is a significant effort to understand the moon.